I'm Brian McCraw. I'm Professor of Physics at Dublin City University and I'm Director of the Biomedical Diagnostics Institute, which is a, an SFI-funded CSET. The Biomedical Diagnostics Institute, or, or the BDI as it's known uh, in short for, for version, focuses on developing devices for detecting uh, early indications of disease. And we focus on the major diseases like cardiovascular disease, various cancers and so on. So it's really about developing devices for what's called the point of care. So we can make a measurement right beside the patient without having to take a sample from the patient and bring that back to the hospital laboratory, which typically happened in the, in the past. So essentially, by having these low-cost devices but very sensitive platforms, we can get a very early result at the patient's side so you can make a very early decision for the benefit of the patient. So really it's about getting, re getting rapid, high-quality information about the disease itself, allowing the clinicians to make a rapid decision. And as we know, in most diseases we're aware of, early intervention, early information leads to uh, more positive outcomes for the patients them themselves. And that's what we're all about. Well, let's take cardiovascular disease, and it's, it's one that is on everyone's mind. I mean, if you, t if you take Ireland as an example, but, but most developed countries are the same. More than one in three people will die from a cardiovascular disease. So really it's something that pe people worry about. We're developing a plastic biochip, which is a simple disposable chip on which we print uh, antibodies. And these antibodies can detect the presence of biomarkers of disease, and in this case, biomarkers of cardiovascular disease. So by taking a pinprick of blood, adding this to the chip and having our reader system, we can get information of the person's potential for developing cardiovascular disease and track that on an ongoing basis. So we can keep people in various risk categories, high, low, medium risk, and therefore you know, advise on intervention or advise on lifestyle changes. So this could be something that could, that could be very simple, very low cost, but quite dramatic in its, in its impact. It's a hugely exciting time because now that we've developed, we're now close to 120 people working day to day in the BDI. You have all the different disciplines, the clinicians, the engineers and the companies working side by side. And really it's about picking the priorities in terms of delivering on the potential. I think there are many, many areas of society, society which we will impact on in the future if we continue with the growth we have. Now. If we take even ageing population, it will be about having advanced houses for assisted living for the aged, which will enable people to live longer in their own homes by providing the appropriate monitoring technology. It will be about providing nanomedicine, nanotechnology, which can be placed inside the body and tracking information all the time and wirelessly transmitting that outwards. We have a number of high-quality pulse stocks and other researchers who have ideas and want to run with these and set up their own companies. And I think this is very important, both in terms of the Irish economy, but also in terms of more efficiently getting devices out there into the real world for clinical application.